Good morning in ski classes. Dear mom, I know you think that I should have Mikey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky, and Stinky's dog, Lurch, will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Sign your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you will never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big, Mikey told me. I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love, your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six-foot-long reptile? Love, your concerns, mother. Dear mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love, your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother? Yes, Mom, I want an iguana. Please. If you want to find out what happens next book, be sure to check this book out. I'm Jonathan. I'm Miss Flores. I'm Mr. Dihiri. And this has been Book Talk. Woo!